Hi, Barry Vesti, Operations Director, Auraled Lighting Limited and Auraled UK Limited. Today I wanted to do a YouTube video about LED strips, something that we've manufactured in China for nine years. And the reason I wanted to do a demonstration about LED strip is because of the multitude of prices and ways you can manufacture LED strip in China. And this will give you a better sense of what you're using when you're installing a job, so that you don't get it wrong. We've had a lot of feedback from uh, our overseas customers that our product has no problem, but they have had uh, been replacing projects where there's been a problem on LED strip. So a better explanation for you, the customer, will help you. So we all know LED strip. Basically very simple. You have a LED constant voltage driver. We have a few there. Here's, here's one of our larger ones, a 200 watt. We have the whole range, 30 watt, uh, that we outsource these, but we've vetted the supply very, very well. We've used them for over six years now. High quality, high consistency, not a problem whatsoever. Come to the LED strip itself. Now if you look at this LED strip that I've got laid out on the table, you've got a five meter reel of LED strip, but one thing you will notice on ours is the color consistency. All the way down the whole LED strip, it's very consistent on the color. You can actually lay it out and you'll see that it's very consistent. This is down to a multitude of factors. And I'm gonna go into a lot of detail on LED strip. Firstly, to do this, with the, the PCB here, to make a good LED strip, you have two types of LED uh, strip. One is a rolled copper strip, which is rolled and rolled and flattened and flattened and cut. The circuit is put into that. And then you've got an electroplated uh, PCB. The electroplated is obviously cheaper, but has lower resistance. What we use is a, it's a high quality rolled copper, high copper content, 26 gram per meter copper content LED strip. We only use 24 volt DC on our LED strip. This is because it carries the current better down the strip and runs cooler. Coupled with the high copper content, you're gonna get a better strip length, less resistance, less heat, less problem on the diode. Now I'm gonna actually switch off now just to show you the LED diodes and explain. So I'll just unplug this. Obviously you've got LED diodes. Now this one is a non-IP rated version. These diodes come in various formats. With an LED diode, you can get two types. You can get a gold wire bonded and an aluminium wire bonded. They need two wires to connect between the die itself and the negative plus sides. Gold wire has a, a better heat resistance and a better fluctuation on the heat, so it's less prone to fail. Obviously more expensive. We then use a very high quality epoxy mix on this. The, the material we put in the epoxy on the diode will help to stop it from discoloring. Discoloring is a big issue on low grade diodes. We use a high mill diode, that means a, a big size of diode. We use, actually use 29 times seven mil diode on this version, which is a, we package ourselves. With the color consistency, one of the things is binning. Now, when a LED diode is packaged, it will go through a tester and it will, it will, it will correlate its color temperature in a bin. So we have bin one, two, three, four, depending on the range of color binning. We only go for color bin one on all of our LED strips so that we know that we're consistent. On the non-IP rated strip, this one, the 3528 single color, you can run 10 meters in one run from a single input driver. This is single fed to this size. We actually put two meters as standard on the UK side and two meter on the exit. So that if you want to cut it, it makes it easy to join. You can actually join two together and make a longer run if you like. You can run 20 meters if you double feed. With this, it will stick with 3M backing to any surface. The only surface that we don't recommend is straight to wood because wood doesn't have a good heat transfer. If you're using it for wood, what I would suggest is to use a nice aluminium profile. We have a whole range of aluminium profiles here that you can use. For example, this one, which you can cut out a channel and rebate straight up. The PC diffuser will act as a, as a cover to stop you from getting spotting on the LEDs. And this can then just lay inside quite simply and stick to the back of the channel. This will aid your heat dissipation and stop spotting, which is 
quite handy when you're doing nice projects. However, strip quality in China has a multi-tier. We use A++ grade on all of our strip manufacture. Why? Because we don't want it back. We can produce and buy outside a lot, lot cheaper, but we would have to sacrifice the copper content, the diode type, the epoxy and everything. My last mention is all of our PCBs that we have here, that we said are high quality, all contain our name, all the way down the whole lengths of strip. The reason we do that is if you use our LED strip, you won't get problems. If you've done a job and you've supplied our LED strip and someone says, oh, I've got a problem with that LED strip, they might have bought some elsewhere. It's easy to check if it's ours. That's why we pay attention to details. These are high grade Epistar LEDs on a very, very high quality content PCB, but high quality throughout. Thank you.